Hello everyone. Today the topic is enzymes. So what are enzymes? Enzymes are biocatalysts. That is the catalyst for life or the catalyst for biological reaction. Now what actually is a catalyst? A catalyst is defined as a substance that increases the velocity or rate of a chemical reaction without itself undergoing any change in the overall process. So to define enzymes may be defined as biocatalysts so that are synthesized by living cells and they are protein in nature they are colloidal they are thermolabile in character that is they are extremely sensitive to the uh, extremes of temperature and they are specific in their action the chemical nature of enzymes enzymes are protein in nature almost all enzymes are protein in nature except for few rna molecules each enzyme has its own tertiary structure and a specific conformation and that is essential for its catalytic activity classification of enzymes is the most important topic in the enzymes chapter Union of Biochemistry and Molecular Biology have divided or classified the enzymes into seven major classes: class one oxidoreductases, class two transferases, class three hydrolases, class four lyases, class five isomerases, class six ligases, and class seven is translocases. And uh, these seven classes can be remembered with the help of this mnemonic: OTH LILT. class 1 oxidoreductases this particular group of enzymes they catalyze oxidation of one substrate with simultaneous reduction of another substrate they are mainly involved in the transfer of electrons oxygen hydrogen from one substrate to the another examples of uh, the enzymes which are coming under oxidoreductases are dehydrogenases hydroxylases reductases oxidases and peroxidases so this is uh, an example where uh, the succinate is getting converted to fumarate and the enzyme that is involved in this particular reaction is succinate dehydrogenase and fad is getting reduced to fadh2 so simultaneous uh, reduction of fad and oxidation of succinate to fumarate catalyzed by this particular enzyme succinate dehydrogenase is uh, classified under oxidoreductase next similar example is uh, where the lactate is getting converted into pyruvate or pyruvate is getting converted into lactate with the help of the enzyme lactate dehydrogenase and nad plus is getting reduced to nadh the next class is class 2 transferases there is transfer of a chemical group other than hydrogen in this particular this particular group of enzymes they catalyze a reaction where there is a transfer of a particular compound or a particular chemical group but other than hydrogen they are mainly involved in the transfer of amino carboxyl methyl or phosphoryl groups examples of such enzymes are amino transferases kinases transmethylases and transcarboxylases example is where one such example for transferase enzyme is where glucose is getting converted into glucose 6 phosphate and hexokinase is the enzyme that is catalyzing the transfer of phosphate group from atp to the glucose to form glucose 6 phosphate next class 3 is hydrolases hydrolysis is there there is hydrolysis or cleavage of bonds and this cleavage of bonds especially ester bond ether or peptide or glycosidic bond this occurs with the addition of a water molecule there is cleavage of a bond that bond can be an ester bond or ether bond or peptide or glycosidic bond along but this occurs only by the addition of a water molecule examples all digestive enzymes are included under hydrolysis pepsin trypsin esterase lipase and peptidase so if we see this example acetylcholine if it when an water molecule is added in the presence of the enzyme acetylcholine esterase it is broken down into acetate plus choline so this enz enzyme is an example for hydrolase because there is cleavage of the bond by the addition of a water molecule class 4 lyases 
Now this group of enzymes they catalyze the cleavage or removal of functional group and addition of double bond without adding water or vice versa. The examples coming under ly uh, lyases are decarboxylases, aldolase, HMG CoA lyase, ATP citrate lyase. If we see the example uh, of this reaction where aldolase is involved, aldolase is an enzyme which is classified under lyase. It is mainly involved in the breakage of this uh, molecule fructose 1, 6 biphosphate which is a 6 carbon compound into 2, 3 carbon compounds that is dihydroxyacetone phosphate and glyceraldehyde dehyde phosphate. These are the two three carbon compounds. Uh, this is mainly involved in the breakage, but this occurs without adding water. So that is lyase, breakage or cleavage or removal of the functional group and addition of a double bond without adding water or vice. Next class is isomerases. Isomerases are the group of enzymes which mainly catalyze intramolecular rearrangement to produce different types of isomers. Isomers are the compounds which have the same molecular formula but different structural arrangement. Examples, glucose isomerase. Glucose 6 phosphate isomerase, triose phosphate isomerase, phosphoglucose isomerase. Here, if we see this example, phosphoglucose isomerase, it is catalyzing the intramolecular rearrangement of the compounds. So, produce where glucose 6 phosphate is converted into fructose 6 phosphate, both of which are isomers. They have the same molecular formula, but they have different structural rearrangement. Next is class 6 ligases. They are mainly, the group of enzymes are mainly involved in linking two substrates with simultaneous hydrolysis of ATP. So, energy utilization is there in this particular reaction. Example, glutamine synthase, pyruvate carboxylase or acetyl-CoA carboxylase are the enzymes which are involved in ligases. If you see this example, pyruvate carboxylase. This enzyme is catalyzing the conversion where the bicarbonate is combining with pyruvate to form oxaloacetate. In this process, we can see the hydrolysis of ATP where ATP is getting hydrolyzed to ADP and inorganic phosphate. So ligases, they are mainly involved in linking the two substrates along with hydrolysis of the ATP. Next class is class 7 translocases which are mainly involved in the catalyzing the movement of ions or molecules across the membrane uh, where these particular enzymes they catalyze the transfer of particular molecules from one side of membrane to the other side of the membrane examples are ATP, ADP translocase, carnitin, acyl carnitin translocase etc. So this is about the classification of enzymes where the enzymes are mainly classified into seven major classes which can be remembered with the help of this mnemonic OTHLILT. O is oxidoreductases. Oxidoreductases. T is transferases. H is hydrolases. L is lyases. I is isomerases. And then another L is ligases and T is translocases. So this is about the enzyme classification which is an important topic in the university examination. Thank you.